So I'm going to put a sheet under this swarm, and the reason I put a sheet under it, the reason I put a, a sheet under it is so that when I start collecting them, if any bees fall, I don't want the queen to be in that ivy, because I won't be able to find her. But if I have her on a light colored sheet, may I step in this? Yes, yeah, of course. Okay. If I have her on a light colored sheet, then the chances of her getting lost are less. Okay, so we're going to try, because this, explain for you all, that because this hive is on a mailbox, the only way to get the bees is I can either brush them into the box or I can try to get them to walk onto this comb. And bees like to walk up, so we're going to see if this works. Let's see if any of them will walk onto the comb. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. There's some nice comb. They're not that interested in that side. Let's try over here. Let's see. Oh, on this nice comb. Come on, it's nice comb. I've never done this myself with a comb, but we I've seen it in, on YouTube. We're gonna see if they'll do it. Come on, girls. If they're not too interested, we're gonna have to brush them, but some of them are coming under the comb. Doesn't help to have a person with shaky hands. I don't know if they like that or don't like it. <laughs> Maybe it makes them feel like they're good vibrations, right? Come on. Let's go. There you go. Come on. Let's get on the comb. Let's consider it. There you go. Good job. Let's go up. That's a good start. This is working though, I'm kind of amazed. I just hate being violent with the bees and when you brush them, you really do. You just go and push them into the, into the container that they're going in. Now this one though, I'm gonna shake once they get on here a little bit. I'm gonna take them over to, I'm gonna shake them into the box and bring this comb back out to use it there. Because now I'm on my fifth comb. This is what we're doing on this one. Let me think about what to do next. Yeah, I think what I need to do is actually shake these in here. Well, they, this is um, this is a frame a frame of honeycomb, gotcha. and they like the smell. And if they're hunting for a home, that's why they're hanging here. Right. And this gives them the feeling like, oh, this could be a home. So they right. start climbing onto it as a way to potentially yeah, he, find. You got in touch with you quick. I got to figure that out. How to do that? Yeah. I'm sorry. I said he got in touch with you quick. I got oh, he called the swarm hotline for Metro Atlanta beekeepers, and so they called me. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Oh, they're moving up the mailbox. I mean, like, I'm going to have to leave town. I don't think I can leave them since they're up the street now because it's so close to the house. We now have four separate holes. Oh, 
I finally got it down to this small group on the mailbox, but this took forever, an hour and nine minutes, and I sat and sat and sat and sat waiting for them to come into uh, the hive box. Then I finally left and left the hive box open and went to my house to get a queen excluder. I only lived 10 minutes away and came back with the queen excluder and gathered the bees up and took them to the by then, they were almost all in the box and took them to the community garden. And I get in my car to take them to the community garden and found out that for free bees, these were the most expensive I've ever collected. Um, uh, some kind of huge nut fell on my windshield and cracked my windshield so badly that I had to have it replaced for $1,100. So this was a very expensive <laughs> swarm to collect, but I was still very glad to get them. Okay, we just collected this hive. Um, as a swarm. The hive is in this yellow nuke box and I'm going to pull out the frames that I collected the bees on and put them in one at a time and then we're going to see if we can get the bees to walk up the ramp into the hive. So first I'm just going to take a frame of bees and put it in. looking for the queen. This is a shallow frame, but I'm going to put it in here anyway. And put it in. And a frame of bees. And put it in. And when you put a shallow frame into a medium box, which is what we did a minute ago, what's going to happen is that the bees will, um, We'll build home under it, which is okay. Won't be a problem. Be an inconvenience, but not a problem. And then this last one, oops, I just put my finger right on the bee and got the stung, which I deserve. Take out the one that caught it and put this one in right. And then put this down. Let's see, we'll use the I'll put on the side in a minute. We'll use the clean exploder. Here's the inner cover. Just let the rest of the bees walk into the hive if they will. So we start by putting them there. Bees like to walk up. And the cotton swall guy says that they will walk right into the hive, so we will see. And it's good to go. I've never had this one like this, but I thought it looked cool when I saw it from this Cotswold beekeeper and thought, what a clever thing to do. Look at them, they're just racing up the ramp to go into the hive where hopefully their mother is, but she might be in this group too, I don't know. We'll see. But they are definitely going in. pretty amazing.
That's the bee's walk in, and this bee has her Nazanoff gland going to say the mo mom is in here. I'm going to put a queen excluder on this hive to help the bees uh, get used to this home and not leave. Bees don't typically like this area with the um, power lines from Georgia Power at the community garden, so a queen excluder will keep them in the hive, and I'll put the queen excluder at the below the bottom box and above the entry so that the bees can come in and out, but not the queen or drones. It's reducer in the entrance, and I'm gonna do both of those things. So what I'm gonna do now is just slide this down and move the queen excluder, because I'm gonna use it. I'm glad the bees have a home before that. So I'm gonna lift off this box. I'm gonna lift off this box. And I'll put the queen excluder on. It means that the worker bees can come in and out, but not the queen and not the drones, which is why you can't leave it like this for more than a couple of days. And then I'll come back in two days and remove the queen excluder. There we go. Okay, so we have both boxes on the hive, the queen excluder on the hive. We'll put an entrance reducer on the hive. So now, um, help them not be robbed. And we are good to go. So that would be the installation of this hive. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And we now have two community garden hives to work on for. This is the one I installed yesterday. Look how happy those bees look. They're very, very happy. They still have the clean scooter on and I will leave it until I come back. It looks like this hive doesn't have a slatted rack on it either. So I may bring a slatted rack when I come back as well.